All right, we are on hole number four of the Monday qualifying round for the Ricky Division in the Platinum Resorts Tournament. Let's go to Golf Clash Notebook and let's scout this hole a little bit and see what we got going. All right. This is definitely... You know, there is a shot from up here, but I'm not sure that in Ricky you get enough wind to be able to bounce it over. So we're going to play this straight up up here, and we're going to bring some higher accuracy clubs. We want to make sure we bring our sniper and our backbone. And I'm thinking, you know, you can hit this very easily with an extra mile, but I think in Ricky, the way to stay consistent in this is we could bring a quarterback and just bring a, a bigger ball. And it might be one of those situations where we bring a kingmaker only so that we have better wind on our second shot so and if we use a quarterback let's try it with a quarterback let's 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 try it with the quarterback and see I like the accuracy of the quarterback it almost guarantees that you're going to and our backbone is uh, one one per ring. We're going to bring a kingmaker. Now I'm sure that that's we don't need all of the kingmaker, but it is a three wind ball, and it does help us out if we use our quarterback. So we use that. That's a one one kingmaker for the wind. That's what I got in my notes. Some of you might go, man, you're using all these great balls. Well, you know what? I don't use great balls when I'm practicing if I have time to practice during the week. And I definitely don't use special balls on in practice. I see a lot of guys use, you know, use balls they paid money for. So, hey, they're your balls. You can use them whatever you want. <laughs> the same thing goes for me. play the rookie division because I just don't have time with my work life has taken over I don't have time to practice at the upper divisions I have an account that plays in upper divisions if I if I want to play it but I just don't have the time to practice and when you're playing in the upper divisions you really have to practice I mean, and unless you bring the right second club going over to this pad is uh, not the way to go. So from over here, you have a decent shot if you bring a big backspin club. If you didn't bring a big backspin club on this shot, this next shot, then you're uh, you're in trouble. We're not going to take any of that wind out. We're going to let that wind carry us. We'd like to get up here on the other side of that shadow. So let's see what it does without having any any power. And just popping it up there. So if we added a little bit of power on that, um, we want to try and be where we have a straight shot at the green without the view of the fairway. So we would like to be at least halfway between where we're at right now and the uh, the rough on the far side. So what we're going to do, Mark, on that hole is um, some power. I know when I've played this hole in the upper divisions, a great ball to use on this is the mummy ball. It gives you um, three power and you've got some wind for that second shot. That is such a dangerous shot trying to hit up against that face. Any mistake, your fault, my fault, nobody's fault, and you're going to bounce back into that sand. So we'd like to be like up in here. So we're with our backbone right now, and now we're with our sniper. Let's see if we can backspin the sniper enough. We can. 
I'll try and drop that down to the hole now it's it's very this is this is very tricky you, you want to give yourself enough room to stay away from that rough we're at a minimum shot so we're about one five so we're gonna do a little shy of two rings we didn't quite have enough oh Ah. Could have put a little curl on that. I have to work on that a lot. We'll be in a different spot. We'll be more in our backbone. If we would have hit out there farther where we had a, a shot, we could have used our backbone and tried to run it in a little bit more. So that was all about the drive setup. I like the, uh, I like what we did with the ball, and I like the quarterback. But we will have to do just a titch of power, just to get us up into that area. But you're going to have a lot better consistency with a quarterback, and you can make that great to the left or the right with a quarterback, and it's not going to make any difference. You could actually do a two two ring pull to the to the left or the right if you start off in the middle of the fairway and you're still going to be fine with a quarterback whereas if you make a one ring pull great or right great to the left or the right with a extra mile you could be in um, you could be in trouble so here we're going to start off right in the center of the green we're going to use three backspin and just a titch of right and we want to go almost right at the hole. We've got a three wind. We're with our backbone, so we're gonna do we're gonna do a little more. We do a three ring pull. I don't know if we have enough time. Barely. Barely. But that hole is definitely, this is the first time I played this hole all week, that this hole is definitely a three backspin. Three backspin with your backbone or Saturn, any one of them. You're going to use three backspin on it. That'll put you at the right spot if you're right in the center. And I'm a big fan of starting my ball off in the center of that landing pad and making adjustments with uh, side spin and not pushing the limit. If you are if you start off where you're close to the fringe on the left or the right hand side and you hit a grate to the left or the right hand side, you're now going to end up landing just like he did. And so it's much better whenever you're doing those landing pads to start off in this center of the landing pad. I think normally I play that hole with a katana. But it's been so long since I played that hole, I can't remember. So we're going to find out when we get to that hole. <laughs> All right. That was hole number four of the Platinum Resorts Tournament in the Rookie Division, Monday's qualifying round. Thanks for watching.